Hey guys, uh, this is this is Billy. Um, I wanted to make a follow-up video to my last Rift Barb, which is kind of surprising. It blew up a bit. It was pretty cool. I went to bed and I came back and it was like 8,000 views and then it kept going up. So I think it's like a near 11,000. Um, as much as I do enjoy like the simplicity of those type of showcases, uh, just no cam, no mic, just chuck it on and just show when I'm running real simplistic and just go straight through right into the showcase um, I feel like with a lot of these weird builds that I like messing around with there's definitely a lot more questions that get thrown around and with the amount of questions I was getting um, in the comments I thought it would be good just to go through some different options and talk a bit about the testing that went into it because um, I'm not sure you guys are aware how many hours I, I put into trying to test this and, and to see what does actually work. So I thought I'd talk a bit about that, go through some of the gear options and talk about some other uh, viability that you guys can try if you're interested. So how this kind of thing started is I started off with a rift and I'm like, hey, this is really cool. I wonder if instead of an assassin, I can try and get this to work on a barbarian. So I had this lying around, which was a bad idea from the get-go. I don't recommend making a rift in a pole arm, but hey, I've got it now. Um, so I thought, what about dual wielding rift? You've got 16% chance to cast level 21 frozen orb, double that to 32. That's a lot of frozen orbs and a lot of cold damage if you can stack up cold damage on your gear, right? So I originally started with that. And when I finally got to this point and stacked up, you know, the, the typical amount of plus cold school damage, which you would see on uh, like Riftsons, it was actually quite disappointing. Um, it's not as consistent as a Riftson. Um, and it's really difficult to try and balance the physical damage so you can get sustained from lifesteal um, and as well as getting enough frozen orbs so it's actually dealing enough damage so i would say overall this is not a very effective build um i've only tested it on players one and i think it's pretty safe to say that's where it's going to stay um what i found was best to try and compensate the rift with just one cast of frozen orb is to have a source of physical damage and i was Pretty happy with how the Doom performed, and I feel like it fits the aesthetic quite nicely. Yes, quite nicely. So I've got the Holy Freeze, which is cool. Um, Volcano, which is freaking cool on the screen, spouting out shit, even though it doesn't do much damage. Um, but the attack speed, as well as the minus enemy cold resist, was quite good. I think that rolls on a Doom from between 40 or 45 to 60. So uh, that helped me to save on some costs of getting some cheaper facets. In here so instead of getting five fives which is like uh, pretty pricey um, I tried to get five threes so plus five gold uh, cold skill damage and then get the cheaper resistance one which is cool so options if you were looking to try something this yourself what I would suggest doing is don't go into this uh, focusing on hey I want to make a, a rift barbarian I would honestly just build a frenzy barbarian and there's plenty of builds around to uh, make that so i would do that first because a lot of the gear you can just swap out for pieces so i would just go for like a, let's say you've got a typical um frenzy i don't really have a, a better weapon so let's leave that on there um, but let's say this is like your typical frenzy barbarian, right? You've got, let's pretend this is like a, a grief and then you've got something else on your, your offhand and then you've got your typical melee gear. Maybe you've got a fortitude or a treachery, but this is all your typical melee gear that you would see. It, it's pretty, it's pretty same, same, right? Um, what I would suggest testing out first is getting a, let me get some dexterity, not that one. Getting a voice of reason. It's a bit easier. Um, you can make it in a phase blade as well as a scourge if you want to. Um, it's faster, increased attack speed, faster attack speed 
breakpoints if you put it in a phase blade. I believe it's minus 30. I can't remember what a scourge is. But that will be a pretty decent start to try and test out the frozen orb, see if you like it. It does have pretty decent mobs on it, um, kind of like the Lawbringer. It's decent to have as an offhand because it's got extra damage to demons, undead, blah, blah, blah. Minus cold res. Cannot be frozen as well, so you can save on rings, but hey, most melee builds run Raven Frost regardless anyway because of the extra dexterity and attack rating. So I would definitely start with using a Voice of Reason first and then seeing how that goes. If you want to substitute some of your melee gear, this is when you can start putting in extra cold damage such as those i put these in because they look cool but honestly this build can probably run better if i run exactly the same weapons as i had and just swap these out so something like an ariets and then i can put ariets ariets whatever um and something like a treachery is totally fine or even a fortitude to bump up that that physical damage um so it's really gimmicky the frozen all damage is not actually that significant but just for the sake of it what i'll do is i'll chuck on my cold gear here and i will show you what it looks like with a rift and a voice of reason because i tested it and that looks slightly better than doing two rifts but i might show that as well actually um uh, just while I'm here in the stash, like other alternates, there's there's quite a lot you can do. Um, on my mercenary, I've, I'm running Not just here. the infinity because I want that extra cold damage, which, uh, I don't know, it helps, you know, it helps. But if you want to run something else like uh, Faith on an Aquan mercenary would be quite good. That's going to be better in 2.4. You can get some more cold arrows thrown out there. There's a lot of options for gloves as well. A really good one would be Lava Gouts. A lot of people sleep on the level 10 enchant on here and then actually adds quite a significant attack rating bonus and attack rating is is quite important if you can if you can hammer a lot more consistently then you're going to be hitting a lot more and applying more of your deadly strike or more of your crushing blow which is going to be helping a lot of uh all of the immune monsters and that are more resistant but anyways let's test out one rift and one voice of reason If you guys are interested in looking at um, the skills and stats, check out my other video where I've already kind of been through that. So usually what I'll do is I'll get up my stats with Frenzy and then I'll try and stand in between like a few different mobs and then double swing. So I'm hitting a few different mobs so I can get some orbs in different directions. But this is about as consistent as it gets. And just again, that's with the 16% frozen orb and, you know, the 15% on there. So, I, it, it feels very similar to just having one rift and then something else for physical and attack speed damage, such as the doom that I was using. I do notice definitely a difference using two rifts. It shoots out a lot more frozen orbs, it procs a lot more often. But it means that you're a lot more reliant on the frozen orbs dealing cold damage and not as much as the physical, which is quite unfortunate because if the cold damage from frozen orbs was enough by itself, then maybe I would have led towards that. But I definitely shifted towards the Doom, I felt like that was a good option. And Holy Freeze looks cool. So, hopefully that kind of shares a bit of insight for you guys on, on kind of what to test, if you want to test it yourself. Um, there's not really much else to say, I think. It is very gimmicky, it is very niche. All of, like, uh, the, the people criticizing in the comments you are very correct and i'm very aware uh it's it's not an optimal build it is just for fun that's why i made it but if you want to try it yourself i would definitely 
uh, start with a, here we are, I'd start with a voice of reason, it's a lot cheaper to get your hands on, and just chuck on a voice of reason on, maybe you've got like a, a, a frenzy barb or a, or a berserk barb, just chuck that on, test out how it feels, and, and if you like that, then, then you can start, you know, switching out some other gear and try and even out that damage on what works for you. But that is about the gist of it for the Rift Barbarian, for the Frozen Orb Barbarian. Uh, but thanks again for the support. It was, it was kind of cool to see all the views popping up on one video. Like, it's so weird. I've only been doing this for like a few months or so, I think. Um, but yeah, I've got some other builds that I'm working on in the future, which I'm keen to throw out. Um, so I hope that I can get some of those out before 2.4 comes out. Uh, but also, if you haven't already, um, jump over to my Twitch, you know, and uh, give us a follow there, because I'll be on every now and again. So yeah, if there's any other like weird builds, weird ideas you guys have, chuck it in the comments, please, please. You know, I'm keen to try out some weird shit. But yeah, thanks again, and see ya.